hello guys um so this is a very quick video i just got my dji mavic air 2 uh this is actually the most amazing drone i've ever had so far i've had uh, quite a few drones uh, but this is my second drone from dji as you can see it says the mavic air 2 and amongst some of the features it has it has adb air sense and that is adb air in um adb ads meaning automated dependent automatic dependent surveillance broadcast which is uh, what it means basically is that aircraft uh, that are equipped with ADS-B out broadcast a signal that gives their GPS location and uh, direction of travel and uh, a whole bunch of information including identifying what type of aircraft it is and um, this drone can actually receive that signal and the difference is that this drone will uh, tell you compared to other drones that there are aircraft flying in the vicinity so you have to be careful well that was just an aside um, other thing i was gonna talk about was the battery so i have the battery here fully charged uh, when it's fully charged if for uh, 24 hours you do not use your drone or the battery doesn't get used it will discharge to about 95 percent of full charge and then after five days it will discharge to 96 percent so if you are at home and you're using one of those thermal scanners that people use to measure the temperature of uh, people at the airports you might recognize that your battery is a bit warmer than usual do not worry it is an intelligent flight battery and it has an ic in there it, it can discharge itself and just to make sure that you have optimal performance whenever you need your battery with that being said, I'll put it in there. And the last thing about the battery is that when it's at 5% for more than six hours, then it goes into hibernation mode. When it hibernates, check this out. I press the button once, you can see the state of charge. So I'll press right now. It's kind of dark but all four green buttons lead up that's how you know the state of charge so after six hours with the battery being less than five percent charged it will get into hibernation and the only way to wake it up is to plug it in and have it fully charged well um let's go to the main topic of this video so i ordered this sandisk extreme micro sd card from dji same time i ordered the drone you will notice on the side of your drone you have two ports there's one here on the right for the micro sd card you just touch it push and it pops out and you can pull it out and you can also just push back using your nail and close so that's where your micro sd card goes and on the left side you have a usb-c inlet and this is reserved not for charging the battery but for updating software and uh, stuff like that if you have to connect your computer up to your to your drone so i'll pull these out 
And that if you have any takeaway from this discussion today, it is that the DJI Mavic Air 2 pushes out data at 120 megabytes per second. So if you have an SD card or whatever med medium you have for storing and it's less than that speed, then you get a warning message. So let me bring this up there. That's what I had. It's a SanDisk Extreme Plus, 32 gigabytes, uh, class one. But uh, unfortunately, that was not fast enough. This is the speed required for the Mavic Air 2. Uh, this is a SanDisk Extreme micro SD card that has speeds of up to 160 megabytes per second for read and 90 megabytes per second for write. So hopefully that meets the requirements of um, of the Air 2. I got this from DJI, so I am hoping uh, that this will work perfectly with the drone. And I think uh, that should be okay. I normally shoot maximum ah, 4K. I don't do 2.7. I do 4K and uh, most of my videos before I upload them, you can see I am in a pretty rural setting. That's the train going by. See the train? It's very quiet out here. So we don't have the best internet service. So uh, for my shooting needs and uploading needs, I always try to shoot and process in 1080 and then I upload at 1080 also. So this is what I got. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys the error message I had when I tried to use this SanDisk Ultra Plus, which I think is a, a few years older. This came from my GoPro camera. Okay. And it will go back to the GoPro. <laughs> uh, the GoPro can handle that, no issues. But with newer tech, you have to upgrade. So let's get this out. It's still in the bubble. Let's see if we can get to the bubble. Mm, it says open A. So I pull that down pull it the other way it's this way nothing ah kind of tricky this is not frustration free it's definitely a fight to get it out and there it is I got the disc, the solid state uh, device, SSD. And let's see if we can get this on the drone. It goes in upside down like that. Make sure you have it right. That's how the disc, go, uh, the drive goes in. Uh, push I hope it's in <laughs> yes it is and just like that we are all set right now and this older iteration of the of the media is gonna go on the GoPro so thanks for watching and make sure you have the appropriate uh, 
medium on which you want to store your images from your DJI Mavic Air 2. If you have any doubts, there is a list on the DJI website and I will I will put a list uh, a link to that list below. So just check below and you will see a link to the list of approved storage mediums that DJI recommends. Thanks for watching and uh it's time for me to go do a range test. Bye. Additional footage showing what i was seeing on my screen when i first activated the mavic air 2 um, there was a firmware update which you can see on the top left of the screen as it's downloading and now it's installed and then i next i, I had to activate the mavic air 2 this come from the factory already uh, bound to the controller. So you can see right now it says there's an SD card inserted and it asks me if I want to switch to the SD card. I hit confirm. It has eight gigabytes of internal storage. That's how much you have uh, in the Mavic Air 2. So here I am doing the initial pre-flight checks. Uh, for video, I switch from 4K at 30 frames per second to 1080p at 30 frames per second for video. And now you see I have that message that popped up saying the SD card speed is low. I should change the card code blah 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 anyhow i still decide to go on Learn the maiden flight off. if you look at the right of uh, my screen what i have of, of my take off phone, the home point has been you can updated. see the record Please button check it on the map so right now the drone just took off and it's ascending And I should say, this is the very first time I flew the Mavic Air 2. What you are seeing is not the raw footage from the uh, phone, it's from the drone itself. This is what was transmitted to my phone. Maximum and this flight is the distance phone recording. reached. Maximum flight altitude reached. I just captured whatever I was showing on the screen. So there I played with the gimbal a little bit turned it down so we can just barely see the horizon below us you can see the train tracks and we're going right across town on the bottom left you can see the height at which the drone is flying and uh, still also at the bottom left you can see how far the drone is from me Maximum flight so I'm heading altitude out reached. to the old abandoned elevator. And I should say this is something I would never attempt with the DJI uh, Spark. And I should say with this, um, I still have the default settings as it came from the factory so the distance it can travel vertically and horizontally is limited vertically i've hit, hit the ceiling already horizontally i could still travel further out but this was uh, this being the very first flight that i did i didn't want to go out too far And there I'm just trying to pick out the elevator and then uh, do a 360 circle the elevator, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. So we'll try the options that we have. 
it's it's having a hard time maybe it's because i'm so far out or too far above and the sun was too harsh so it could not really define the elevator with the shadow in the background so i descend a little bit and now i got it It starts circling, but it did not do a full 360. It did not circle completely. And I just felt I should bring it back in. So I hit the return to home button and right now it's heading back. Go home. On the top right hand you can see how many how much flight time I have left. I have basically still about 17 minutes of flight time left. The DJI Spark, which is the other drone I have, uh, has about 16 minutes of flight time. Landing. That's what's advertised. As you can see, the image is absolutely solid. And this has been sped up, but you can see it's still very smooth. That tells you uh, how stable the gimbal is and even the drone itself when flying. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.